Hi everybody, I'm David Lynch. We had a question on our YouTube channel from Joe Wad who wondered if our BK1.75 ASTA would fit in a DR11 tube. Uh, we didn't have any at the time, we only carry fiberglass tubes. So I reached out to Eric at pyroboom.com and he was kind enough to set us up with this 18 shot uh, DR11. These are actually the Ultra, Ultra DR11 tubes. Uh, you can see they're a little bit higher quality than your standard DR11 tube and each one is hand finished so you've got a nice lip there that makes loading easier and decreases the potential that you have problems with that. Um, so thanks again to Eric at pyroboom.com. These are um, the only tube that I'm aware of that comes with a guarantee if you damage this tube or render it inoperable in any way including blowing it to kingdom come. Uh, pyroboom.com will replace this tube for you. So how do you beat that? So rather than just telling Joe Wad, yes, they'll work in here, we thought it would be fun to show you rather than just telling. All right, everybody, this is Steven. He's got uh, the BK 1.75 AST A, the inch and three quarter one three ball shell. Um, and we're gonna watch him load it into this nice rack from pyroboom.com fits in there perfectly it's seated at the bottom of the gun there you go all right steven's got a golden one an extreme artillery and an over the best these are each one four reloadables consumer reloadables and he's going to load those also into the rack and you can see that we've uh this rack does probably does not need this but we've gone ahead and thrown in a couple of pieces of rebar with long handles for extra support for the rack you can see that in the front and in the back all right and for the uh the back row we thought it'd be fun to do a uh, kls 581 xl this is labeled in the catalog as a two inch extra heavy canister salute these are one three so you have to have a license to purchase them um, i need to change that that designation in the catalog I would not recommend that you shoot these out of a two inch gun they're too small for a two inch gun but they're just perfect for inch and three quarter fiberglass or in this case um, the the ultra DR11 snug but perfect fit I'm not sure why the uh, audio didn't record on this segment of the video but it didn't but what I was saying is here we have it set up uh, we quick match things together You'll see here in a second why not to do that. Um, the quick match was just too fast. It didn't light the visco. And so we had some problems with the shells getting uh, lit and out of the gun. So don't do it like this. Well, sorry about it. There's just no audio on this part of it either. So I'll give you a little bit of narration and maybe some sound effects as well. Um, as I mentioned in the last segment, we used quick match to fuse these one four primarily um, consumer reloadables together because we're primarily one three guys and we're used to doing it that way. You guys who are uh, more experienced in use of one four reloadables with visco fuses probably can already guess what happened. Um, the quick match was too fast, it just didn't light the visco, and in one instance it actually yanked one of the shells out of the tube, and so we had a shell break on the ground. Uh, we should have used visco or um, any number of other ways to do this, um, even if it had just been uh, laying the fuses against each other and, and taping them together. We would have been better off than where we ended up with significant extra effort. So we've seen uh, the golden one so far, and uh, these are extreme artillery. The golden one has a nice mine effect underneath. And we've got over the best coming up. These are all 1-4 reloadable consumer display shells, consumer shells. So it worked okay on the roof of the Over the Best. 
Those break really big and really loud. I really wish you could hear it. <laughs> and here's the shell dropping out of the gun and breaking on the ground. These are the shells that Joe Watt asked about, the BK 1.75 AST-13 um, ball shells. And we're launching those out of the Ultra DR-11 tubes again, and they work just fine. So there's your answer, Joe Watt. Uh, we've got another row of those coming up. And I think actually only two of these get lit. Come on, Steven. And then the final row is the KLS 581XL, erroneously labeled in our catalog as a two-inch shell. Do not shoot them out of two-inch guns. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks Joe Wad for the question. Please call us or email us or hit us up here on YouTube or Facebook if you have any questions. Thank you.